All right, welcome to round one here at Liberty. John Mark versus Raymond. I am on the play. Go up here. Mm -hmm. Sorry for breaking your guys' hearts. Tell Laura to put my cards down. Go ahead. Good. I'm going to play a Ganjo. Uh, Roll Reaper. Hopeful initiate. Yep. Swing two. 18. And then this is whenever it attacks. No, it's just when it comes in. Okay, just be All right, cool. Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna cast uh, Shimmer Possibility. Look at the top four cards. Put one in my hand. The other one's in on the bottom. Random order. Sure. Cut. Huh? It's a random order. Oh, you're fine. All right, go ahead. Draw. Plan for turn. Um, Fenelish Marshal? Yep. Take nine, go to nine. Yeah. Uh, it's ten. Three, six. Oh, sorry. No, it's three, six, nine. Yeah, this, will tra this trains. Right. On attack. Yep. So that's three, six, nine. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. My bad. No worries. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> That's why math is for blockers, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, see. So you've been playing for a long time? Oh yeah, yeah, I've been playing uh, let's see, 22 years. Started when I was 10. Nice. Imagine asking someone that literally played on the Pro Tour if they've been playing for a while. I don't ever expect anyone to know this. <laughs> I don't know Especially if you know now. this, but Craig Wesco is the only person that I know on the Pro Tour. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> that does match your style. Him and, him and Rob Doherty. <laughs> Rob Doherty is sweet. Dragon Squad. That's like a neutral ground, I think. Was what he's from. Never met Rob. No Wesco though. All right, I've been playing good. You do. Man, I die on death. Turn three. Dang, turn three. That's what I aim for. That's not modern. It's pioneer. <laughs> it's supposed to be turn four for me. I will. I will not keep. That's close here, but not it. Yeah, I miss Greg Wesco. Yeah, pretty sure he just lives on a farm and does animal activist stuff now. He has a lot of vegan stuff, and I think he's got like a Christian blog and theology and stuff. Talked to him like mid last year. So I was like, where are you? Fortnite's awesome. Nice. And he was like, it's not, it's not me anymore, John Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Craig. <laughs> I'll keep this and I'll put this on the bottom. Oh, go ahead. 
throw. Have the turn. Mm -hmm. Little Reaper. I'm gonna sub and try and go get a land. And it's going to be this one. Go ahead. Okay. So, you can attack, but creatures deal with Yep. Forest Elite? Yep. So, if I cast that after this resolve, I take two from the Eyes of Cold. Because I cast those in response to casting the Eyes of Cold. Uh, this is the Eyes of Cold. That Lotus Field? Yep. No, no, I appreciate your time. You can attack with it if you want, but it just doesn't deal with it. I'm gonna go with Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay. And then attack. Yeah. Go to nine. Yeah. Super okay. Okay. Yeah, I missed like two or three. So. <clears throat> Four. Oh, sorry. Five, six, seven, seven. Go to eight. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Go ahead. Kill all two drops. Yeah. Two and below, right? Yeah. And play this good. Talia, go ahead. Bodyguard targeting Thalia. Oh, okay. I'm gonna copy Lotus Field. You copy Lotus Field? That's cool. Six blue. Mm -hmm. Spend four of it. Okay, I solved the equation. Go look for an instant source you put in my hand. Okay. So I have two blue floating. Get fog. Sure. You said you have two blue floating? Mm hmm. Uh, hidden strings on top of these two. Okay. Three blue. Cast okay, shimmer. Oh, okay. top four. Thank you. Um, this is the first time I've played it with the Eidolons, so I, that's, that's a new card that yeah. I've recently. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to 
Six mana. Use three bit untap, three floating. Spend. As I struggle, yeah, you had to say something, right? Uh, make, I have a uh, three bit floating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to make black go down to one blue. Uh, cast Masterminds. What's that do? Uh, I can look through my deck for a card or look through my sideboard for a card. Very cool. I'm going to check this before I choose, just because I want to double check. Okay, I'm going to look through back the library for a card. So I have one blue floating. Keep shuffling. Wait, I just want to make sure. Oh, no, okay. yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not doing anything else. Go ahead. It's my turn. Yeah. Seven. I'm gonna uh, fog. Mm -hmm. uh, second me. Yep. yep. Play neither way, working. Okay. Check. Thinking about my other line where if I haven't oh. played one. <laughs> oh, the Warhound thing? No, same thing. But like if I haven't played a land and it comes in play, then I can play my second one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, go ahead. Uh, seven mana? Mm -hmm. Okay, season's passed. Turning your cards into the grass. So zero, one. Uh, 
So this goes on the bottom. These all go to my hand. And then I'll play a life return. Go ahead. Sure. That helped. I know when you did the shotgun. I had to. Ooh, I had to. Go to Cast Dark Petition. Search my library for a card, and yeah. then if I have Spell Mastery, which I do uh, two or more spells, I uh, add three black mana. Okay. So I'm going to choose this card, three black mana, <laughs> and I'll just shortcut a little bit. I'm going to spend the three and the four to cast Masterminds to go click through my deck again. Go get this card. No, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. No, man. <laughs> Yep. And then I'm gonna scry. Uh, bottom. Go ahead. Land for turn. Mm hmm. How much commercial? Good. Dolly's lieutenant? Sure. Go ahead. So this is going to be deterministic. I'm going to show you the loop, okay. and then we'll go from there. So six mana, mm -hmm. uh, red and blue. I'm going to cast Repeated Reverberation. So the next spell I cast, uh, copy. copy twice. I'm going to cast Hidden Strings with the other two mana floating, targeting these. Mm -hmm. This is going to generate 18 mana. Okay. I'm going to spend six of that mana to cast Seasons Pass to pick it all back up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be able to tutor for Seasons Pass over and over again. And eventually I'm going to have, I just have a billion mana basically, because this is going to loop a lot. So. So right now, I have 12 mana floating. Okay. So it kind of matters for the colors in the beginning, but not really. Because once I go, I'm just going to generate a billion mana. What do you do with your billion mana? I'm going to shoot you in the face with the fireball. Oh. Is it at least a main fire, though? No, it's an expansion explosion. Because <laughs> that's another clone effect. Or I can, like, get a card from my sideboard. So we're going to say... I don't really have a good way. Colored dice? I, I kind of do, but like, they're kind of sticklers about using colored dice. So, I mean, I'm not. Okay. So, I got blue mana, yep. I got green mana, <laughs> I got red mana, and I got black mana. I want to see the fireball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I got 18 mana to yep. start with, so I'm going to do uh, three green. Actually, we'll do six. Uh, yeah, we'll do three green. So, three green. I'm going to do three red. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do six black. Okay. So that's uh, 12, so I'm gonna do six blue. Wherever the six is, this is pinned down somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, so this is all my graveyard. Sure. I'm gonna spend two and- And you're playing that card twice. No, I'm just, no, that's only the next spell, so it's only the hidden strings. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this is allowing me to pick up all the mana costs from so, my graveyard. So the hidden strings is gonna untap the two lands. Right. Yeah. And then you'll tap them, and then the copied ones will do the same yeah. thing. And that's yep. how it's yeah. Oh, yeah, I apologize. I can explain that. So, like, yeah. these are tapped. I'm going to copy this. So I have three copies of this targeting them. Yeah. So, the first one, so I'm going to tap. So, 6, 12, 18. Yep. Right. So, I'm going to make the mana in three increments, tap, tap again. So, this is all my graveyard. So, I'm spending two, and we'll do two and two. Cast Seasons Past. Okay. So, now I'm going to get this for my two drop, this for my four drop, this for my five drop. This for my three drop. Oh, I already got a two drop. And then I just get to see some tapping land, right? 
What's up? That just keeps on tapping. Yeah, this is going to so generate 18 mana every okay. time I do we it. We can go to game This three. also generates 18 <laughs> mana, but I, it technically costs two. But I'm eventually going to be able to tutor out this yeah. every time. And then when I really want to stop, I can copy this three or copy a tutor three So times. just go ahead and, and yeah. Oh, yeah. search your library for the win so card. So search, 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 search. We've search. demonstrated you can, you can generate 54 mana or whatever. And take an infinite Kaboom! Yeah. And then I'm going to do this one. Okay. And I actually, just because... It's what I like to do. I'm going to target you with both. So you're going to take a million oh. and you're going to draw a million. I'm going to draw a million. <laughs> so just I can't know. draw a million. So you're just in die. case you have a high life total. Yeah. <laughs> draw 67 cards as well. And yeah, that's the deck. So, you know. Yeah, I tried using dice. the damping spears. I don't have any. <laughs> See, game one, he killed me too fast, so he yeah. couldn't do anything. And then I, and then I should have played yeah, Dahlia a turn before. <laughs> Sometimes you shouldn't kill him on turn three, so you That's can true. figure out what they're doing. I was like, I could have played a Lotus Field on my turn three, but I was just dead the next turn, so I just conceded. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my hand like, yeah, I'm just dead. I'm not going to tell him what I'm playing. Yeah, we're just going to move on. And I have a soul one card. Yay. Yeah, no, I should have played fog? Dahlia a turn. Fog's right? main deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did fog, though. That's how I was surviving nice. that game. I was just nice. looping my fog a little bit. <laughs> I guess it is a one drop, so you get it back yeah, in seasons yeah, yeah. fast. Yeah, there's a lot of creature decks in the format that uh, the guy who built this deck, he was like, yeah, you know, they can't beat Fog Loops. And I was like, that's fair. That's, that's true. a good point. Maybe here. Oh, I feel like this card's probably too slow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, we'll see if this, this card's sense. also main deck too, which I cited out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Six drop. A little, yeah. little slow and not probably, the, probably empty handed by the time you cast it. Yeah, not the matchup that one's for. <clears throat> I actually, so when I played this deck on Moto last night for the first time just to try and get some reps in, um, I actually swapped it out for a different six drop. And I really wish I had that one right now. But alas. Casualties of War. Like, no, it's a farewell. Okay. Yeah. I, I've been trying to tinker with the Grixis Fires of Invention list, and I was going and like, I forgot so many of the cards. So I'm going through my binders and I'm like, oh yeah, Casualties of Wars are really good. Yeah. Uh, you had two cards in one of those piles when you dropped. Them. Oh, did I? So you okay. were, you dropped an extra one if you're thinking you're short a card. Yeah, it didn't end right. Gotcha. That makes sense. I saw it. Yeah, when it, uh, it's supposed to end on it was, four and it ended it was on three. The top over here. pile. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, when I stopped on three, I was like, okay, that doesn't feel right. <clears throat> Let's double check. That's why you always pile shuffle. Pile count. Yeah, oh, pile count. Yeah, I, got, I got yelled at for pile counting too, whatever. Yeah. No, it was because you picked up the deck and looked at it. You were oh. trying to figure out what your sideboard yeah. is. And then you just put the deck back down and offered it to cut. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Technically, as long as you've shuffled before or after a pile count, you're fine. But a lot of people will like shuffle and pile, and everybody go, like, oh, "You have to shuffle after that." And technically, no, because it was randomized when you started. Because I thought they were thinking something like mana weaving or something, but I'm like, that's not what's going on. I didn't see that comment. Yeah, that was a comment. Well, no, that's why I thought when they were talking about the pile oh, shuffle or gotcha. whatever. Um, I will it's keep a, this. Pile shuffling isn't randomizing the deck. Yeah. Which is why you have to randomize it before or after doing it. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Because it's putting it in a specific yeah. sequence. Oh. Right. Yeah. Back in the day, you could double nickel. I guess you still could, but no one really does it. It's very obvious when people do it. What's double nickel? It's like land spell, land spell, land spell. Yeah, that's what I mean, the mana weaving. Or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So double nickeling is the same thing. You're just putting the cards in them, you know, specific order. But it's like if you look up magician terms, that's what like the, the technical term for it. Much better. I will keep. Good. And I have to put one back. Hmm. It's interesting because if you have what I think you have. All right. <coughs> we'll do that. All right. Good to go. I got you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play another Marty Will Reaper. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, play a Grazer. Comes in play, put land in play. Go ahead. Draw. Playland. Yep. I'm gonna play Rest in Peace. Uh huh. Sure. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna tag. Go ahead. Let's shimmer. 
do top four. Okay. You're good. Uh, go. Draw. Plan for turn. Mm -hmm. Gonna play a Luminar Gasper. Sure. And a Dauntless Bodyguard targeting my Luminar Gasper. Okay. Getting a combat. Sure. Put a plus one because it's here. Swing three. Mm -hmm. 17. Go ahead. see it. <laughs> okay. Tetsis? No, you're good. Scry. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll keep that. Go ahead. Draw. Six. Okay. You feel the attack. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna block it. You could offer the trade, and then I take one extra, so it's it's better if you attack. But that's yeah. right. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, so I'm at eleven. Oh, yeah, it's a zero three. Yeah. 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 Okay. Go ahead. Uh, blue green. Mm -hmm. Play this. Uh, cycle. Untap. Drop. And then I'll pass you. Land. Mm -hmm. Getting a combat. Yep. Here. Mm -hmm. And I will swing team. Uh, I'm still going to black take nine. Okay. Go to two. Go ahead. And step three green. Use yep. one green. Natural state that. Sure. Two green. Uh, copy. Seasons past. Okay. Then we'll do
three blue. I'm going on to one blue. Hidden strings. We'll do three green. Uh, use two green. Cast a Sylvan Scram. We get a land. I'll use the two mana. Shimmer. Cutsies. Main card. Scrap. Bottom. Go ahead. This might be game. Forget that. Strings on tap. So this is plus one. Go to four. Go to two. On tap. Go to eight. No, it's not. It's unfortunate. So we will adjust. Dark petition. Uh, go look for a card. Three black floating, and I have one blue floating for this first but In response, I'm going to kill my guy. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to crack my clue. Sure. I'll get this with the three black floating and cast it. Mm -hmm. You're going to cast it? Yeah, I get three black from this. So. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice this to make everything else indestructible. Sure. And then... Uh, it's your turn. Falconer. Okay. Um, swing Ball. six in the air. Go ahead. I'm gonna cast seasons past. Get fog this, 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 and let's see, right? Because those are all of those. Get these. And that's it, right? Because you get this. Well, I don't. Have, I can't cast it technically right oh. now, but I'm getting these back. All right. Go ahead. I guess. <laughs> yep. Um, Seeing two mana, I was like, oh, that's unfortunate. Rest in peace. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's what I killed my guy for, but it didn't hit. Yeah. Um, go ahead and swing two. What if I just gain three life? I don't know. That'd be crazy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, go ahead. 
Alright, so I'm gonna have three blue, three red. I'm gonna use two blue and two red total. I'm gonna cast head history and strike these, maintain priority, copy it. Okay. And then so I get two untaps. First one, I'm gonna make three black, three green. Second untap. I'm gonna tap for six blue, go to seven, go to five, cast hidden strings. I'm gonna spend. Then you're just gonna recur that thing though, right? Yeah, I'm gonna dark petition, yeah. go pick it up, and yeah. then keep going. We're good, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah basically, because this is a six drop now, yeah. so I get to do a lot of cool stuff now. That's usually one of the loops. Stuff for it, I'll be the six track. Yay! <laughs> GG's. GG's.